All right, so you have if statements and you have else statements, but you also have else if statements. So starting with the first obvious question, what is an else if statement? Say you build a robot to get lunch for you and you tell it, if they have spicy jack quesadillas, get me one. Else, give me anything. Your robot goes to get you lunch, they don't have any spicy jack quesadillas, and so it returns with getting you a cheeseburger. But you realize that the restaurant doesn't serve french fries, and now you wish that you had something different because what's a cheeseburger without fries? And so to correct something like this, you can bring in an if statement's other partner in crime, the else if statement. So how does it work? Going back to our example using the else if statement, you could tell your robot, if they have spicy jack quesadillas, get me one. Else, if they serve french fries, get me a cheeseburger. Else, give me anything. And with this program, you can send your robot to any restaurant and be sure it will get you what you want if the conditions are right. Because if statements are pretty much just booleans, they're essentially like backup if statements. And that's pretty much all this to an else if statement. Now let's look at how to use else if statements properly with code. And we're going to do this by using two different languages, because I think it can be really helpful for you to see how they compare and contrast. And plus, you'll pretty much learn two languages at once. So on the left is the language C Sharp using the IDE Visual Studio, which should interest you if you want to do Windows development or want to make games using a popular game engine called Unity. And on the right is language Python 3 using the IDE Visual Studio code, which should interest you if you want to get into more general programming or data science. Alright, so here I have two brand new console projects, and if you don't know how to make a new console project in either C Sharp or Python or both, be sure to check out the video in the description. Uh, it's called How to Install an IDE, and at the end of that video, I'll show you how to do that. All right, so just like the else lab, the else if lab is gonna be pretty quick and easy because again, there's not really too much to this. So how do we use an else if statement? Well, just like an else statement, an else if statement is completely dependent on an if statement. Without an if statement, an else if statement is just completely useless. And to demonstrate this, over here on the left in C Sharp, I'm just gonna remove these two lines because I don't need them. They come standard with any new console project. And I'm just gonna write else and then if and then true and then my code block. And as you can see, we get an error because this is invalid syntax. Again, else if statements are completely useless without an if statement. And over in Python, it's the same exact thing, except for the syntax for else if statements is just a little different. So instead of else if typing that out explicitly, you just type E-L-I-F, else if, it's shortened. And then you can just put true here, and then your colon, and then your logic. But uh, even if I were to put some logic here, let's just say I'm gonna put zero, um, you can see that we get an error. I'm gonna hit play, and it tells us that this is invalid syntax. Again, the else if statement by itself is completely useless. And so to fix this, I'm just gonna come right above our else if statement and add an if statement to that. So if true, then we go on to do console.writeLine. And then we're going to say plan A. And then I'm going to come down here and do the same console.write line. And then plan, if I can spell, plan B. Semicolon, boom. I'm just going to do the same thing in Python so that they are on the same spot. Let's see, true. Then we want to do print um, plan A. And remember, indentation is really important, so we're going to come back down here, and then it, else if that's true, then we want to print uh, plan B. And so, what is all this saying? Well, this is saying if this statement is true, then run this block of code. Else, if this statement is not true, but this statement is true, then run this block of code. And over in Python, it works the same exact way. So we have, if this statement is true, then run this block of code here. Else, if this statement is not true, but if this statement is true, then run this block of code. One difference I want to point out between the two for the else if statement, it's a minimal difference, but Python really prides itself in being like optimized in every way possible. <laughs> and that includes like how many characters you have to type for else if. This is only four versus over in uh, C sharp, you have to type seven, including the space. Again, it's minimal, but differences are differences.
Now here is where the real power of else if statements comes into play. What makes else if statements so useful is that you can add as many else if statements as you want. There are no limits. So if I come over here and just grab this and then hit copy and then paste and then paste and then paste, you can see that we have no errors. There's no problems, no issues. You can do this as many times as you want. In Python, there's no difference. You can grab this, copy and paste, for example, and do, oops, and do this as many times as you want. Though do be careful with your indentation. Make sure that your indentation is always uh, correct. And so with that, I think it's important to touch on the order of operation and how important that is. So with any if statement tree, it always will first check the first one. If the first one is not true, then it'll go to the next one. If the next one's not true, then it'll go to the next one. And it'll keep on going down the line until it gets one that is true. So say, for instance, this one is true, then it's going to run this block of code and it's going to exit out. It's never going to even touch this else if statement right there. And I can demonstrate this for you. I'll just change this to plan C, plan, change this to plan D, uh, and change this to plan E. And let's say that the Boolean check here returns a false. And then let's say this one also returns a false. And so does this one right here. Well, what we should expect is that it's going to check this one, get a false, else if check that one, get a false, else if check that one, get a false, else if check this one and get a true. And then it'll run this block of code and should print out plan D. And just to prove that, I'm going to hit the start button and then I'm going to bring, oop, we forgot to add a console. Oh, console dot read key so that the terminal doesn't close until we press a button and then I'm going to hit the start and then bring console over and voila we have plan D just as we expected. Now of course this also works in Python and I can prove that to you just going to change this to C D E um, did I mess up A B C D E oh, I guess I made one over here. Either way, E, F, and then we can set this one to false, and then we can set this to false, and then we can set this to false, and we should expect again to get to print out plan D. Gonna hit the play button, and we see a plan D. And the last bit of information I think will be useful for you to know is how to incorporate the actual else statement. So let's say that you have some variable, right? You have like a money variable and you have this first statement. It's like if I have over, I don't know, a thousand dollars, then do this block of code. Else, if I have over, let's say $750, then run this block of code. If I have over 500, run this one. If I have over 250, for example, run this one. If I have over 100, then run this one. And let's say that you have to print to the console something. Right. Well, if you do all these checks and you have zero dollars then you'll never print anything, but that's where the else statement comes back into play. All you have to do at the very end of your if statement tree is just simply add else. I want to do a console dot right line uh, plan. What is this? EF plan F. And that is all you got to do. Now, take note your else statement has to be at the end of your if statement tree. It can't be anywhere else but at the very end. I mean, even if you think about it logically, that's the only thing that makes sense. And that's pretty much everything to else if statements. The final thing maybe to note is that else if statements are no different than if statements. Like this and this are the same exact thing. The only difference is that an else if statement is dependent on an if statement. You remember that simple rule and you'll have no trouble using else if statements. And that is everything that you need to get started programming in regards to else if statements.